Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. As we are close to heading into a new trading week um, with silver, we are currently in this correction that we already talked about in the last few videos that is carrying on. We've got our reversal area here and we are going to take a look at that in a minute. Overall, here on the silver chart, we can see that silver produced a five wave move to the upside. The fifth wave was a bit too short, unfortunately. Doesn't really show a lot of strength. Um, at the time, it also did not reach my target area because an ideal wave five would normally go higher. However, as we then headed down, we have to assume that the wave five was in here. Um, the minimum requirements were fulfilled. We moved above the high of the wave three, even though it was only slightly and we then came down. Yeah, On the way up, we picked uh, quite a few nice reversal areas and we've now come into the next one. Ideally, we start to move up from here. Before we go into detail here, this one, this area that you can see here, has always been the key area where I expected this overall correction to finish. Now, it could very well be that it was already finished here and that is currently still my primary expectation. But again, only with a 60% probability. So as I always highlighted, there is still a 40% probability that we will come down lower once more. Um, so this, this is still something we have to expect. Yeah. <clears throat> However, yeah, because we came into this area, so we basically fulfilled the minimum requirements for this correction. That's basically the thought process. You come, you come from the top here, you move down into these regions, yeah you fulfill the minimum requirements for these corrections. And when you are in this area and you turn around, you leave the area again and you create an impulse, then you can reasonably expect that the low is in. Um, however, not with a, let's say, 100% probability, we start carefully because things are far away from being confirmed. When you want confirmation, you have to wait for this first five wave move and then a three wave move down in which we currently are. Um, but we need to finish it. Yeah, we need to finish that three wave move. And when that's finished and we then turn around, that is the best confirmation that we get because then we have a completed five wave impulse and a three wave correction and we start again with an impulse. So this is the best confirmation we get that an overall low of a correction is in. At the moment, we don't have this five, a three wave impulse, um, the three wave correction complete. This could very well also become an impulse, yeah. We don't know that and therefore it's always important to wait for confirmation. Now we have come down in the in, So this would be if this was a wave one as an impulse, the first impulse of an uptrend, basically indicating that the trend has changed back up, then we need to see this as a wave two correction. Now, in terms of it being a wave two correction, it needs to be a three wave move A, B and C next. Now the wave C can come down all the way to the 1844 level, the 88.7% FIB level. It might very well do that with a strong red candle here. It might very well do that. But that is sort of the last resort for the bulls. If it drops below that, there's a high risk. It will also um, fall below the 1812 level. So the 1844 is basically the last level. It's not unusual for silver in a wave two to come back to the 88.7% FIB level. It is a very volatile asset. Yeah, more volatile than, bit for, than gold, for example. Um, so it's not unusual to come down to that level. However, if it drops below that, it will just get un very unlikely that also the 1813 level is going to hold. And if we drop below 1813, then this entire impulse or this sort of um, yeah, impulsive move is invalidated. Yeah, and that is why it's always so important to wait for the five wave move to be complete and the three wave move down. Of course, these moves can be traded, yeah, but in terms of having confidence in the higher level wave pattern, it is important to wait for this confirmation. At the moment, we don't have this confirmation yet. Therefore, we need to be open to all aspects and all directions. Therefore, the bullish scenario only has a 60% probability. This will already reduce probably to um, 45% bullish and 55% bearish if we drop below the 1844 level and when we then drop below 1813 it is invalidated anyway. Then in my opinion if this happens so that you, I just give you some orientation then I think we're going to go into this area here between $15.60 and $17.50. And Somewhere in here I would then 
expect the low and this would give silver another chance to reverse back to the upside yeah and that's currently where we are uh, i have my doubts if this green area he will hold i can tell you that because the the reason is that this move down was very very strong so if we have here a wave a um normally you would expect the wave b to go quite high otherwise because normally the wave c has a certain length right if the wave a is already very long then the wave c would normally be at least the same length as the wave a now that would push us below the previous low and that would basically invalidate the bullish count so it's remaining interesting here um lower prices would obviously allow everybody to accumulate lower who wants to um but there is still a realistic chance and actually that is still my primary expectation that we are going to reverse from here to the upside but the lower we go the more the bullish scenario will obviously get challenged that this is not over yet and we might max out this target area is indicated by the bearish divergence currently on the four hour chart you can see that here on the macd uh, not bearish divergence um bearish crossover on the rsi we also had this bearish crossover however if we now push a little bit lower on the price chart we will probably get a bullish divergence on the rsi because if you make a little bit of a lower low here on the price chances are you're not going to get the rsi down as low anymore and that indicates that we are getting close here to a local bottom we will see i guess in the new week we will know more um you can see the same situation on the eight hour chart also here we might get a bearish crossover and um yeah what we're doing here on the one hour i mean this is again very low detail yeah this might be here a bear flag indicating we come down once more that is actually what i expect is if this here was the wave b then the wave c would normally go lower yeah it would be very short anyway as it is even if we max out the target area it would be a very short wave c so yeah got a bit of a concern here that we're not going to hold it but um, these are the key levels that i just uh, highlighted to you these are the levels to watch out for and um, that's pretty much it so hopefully you like the update about silver if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then yeah please check out our main channel more crypto online and the link for that is in the video description thanks a lot for watching bye bye